Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, it is like one o'clock already. Um, all right, so today I spent so much time last night trying to get the footage of me. I also have really chapped lips. God, they're so chapped. My house is so dry. Our humidifier is on. I, they shouldn't be this dry. I have no idea what's... And it was just checked. Um, I have no idea what the problem is. But um, um, I tried and tried and tried to get... Um, the footage of me sewing the recital shirt. It was just like the footage of me actually sewing. Obviously, you guys saw me cutting out. Like everything else that you saw yesterday all came off my phone all at the same time. And for whatever reason, three files will not come off my phone. It kept saying error. So I don't, I have no idea what's wrong. So I am so sorry. Um, someone had asked if I would do kind of a more deep, like showing like how I was sewing um, as I went along. And sorry, I did. <laughs> I just can't get it off my phone. Um, anyway, to be honest, so where I'm at right now is that I've got um, the placket sewn, which was just basically turn back the seam allowance over the um, interfacing and then turn it back onto the fold line. So I'm doing view A. View A? I think I'm doing view A. It's not the tuxedo shirt version of the recital shirt. It is the one with the ruffle collar. Um, so I've done that. I've, I've done the... I mean, most of it is very similar to my um, shirt sew along that I did, my shirt dress sew along that I did. Um, I'm looking at it over here on my mannequin. Uh, so I've got the collar done, which instead, the only difference there is that you're gathering a piece. I did mine double-sided, so she gives you an option in the pattern to do just to hem your ruffle piece and then put it in. Um, if you have this, if it looks the same on both sides, or you can double it up. Um, which I did because I've got thin enough fabric and I do kind of have a, I do, there is a wrong side. It's just, it's more faint than the right side. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a wrong side to my fabric. So I doubled up my ruffle um, and it was just a matter of gathering that into the neckband piece. Um, and it went on to the shirt the same way that a collar would. So the same way as that shirt. It's just that I, instead of putting the collar piece onto the neckband, I was gathering in this ruffle piece. It looks really good. Um... And then I sheared the, my sleeves. Now, I walked you through, and you guys saw um, the sleeve pattern and what I did. I ended up doing, um, like, I hemmed them. I hemmed my sleeves first while they were flat. I did a narrow hem. And then I went three-eighths up from that um, hem. So I have a three-eighths inch flange. Here, I'll show you. Let me flip you around. Okay, so you can see my sleeve is still flat. The shearing is just pulling up the ends here. Um, I have not put them in, obviously, yet. So what I did was I um, went ahead and hemmed them. So there's a narrow hem there. And then I did 12 lines of shearing a quarter inch apart. So there's 12 lines of shearing here, which will create a cuff. So I'm going to put the sleeves into the shirt flat. Obviously, I haven't done that. And I'll take you along with me on that if my camera wants to work. <laughs> Hopefully, it will. Um, but yes, that is what I've done so far on the shirt. So anyway, I just wanted to apologize that I... Because I did. I took all that time yesterday to do that. Um, and actually, this shirt is rather easy because it is the princess seam front. So it makes um, fitting the bust, I think, rather easier. And it also has cup sizes. So I'm making the size 8 with the D cup. Technically, I think my measurements put me in their C cup, but I wanted a little extra room just because the um, inspiration blouse is a little roomier. So I went up to the D cup. And I guess, um, oh no, you didn't see it. See, I mentioned things yesterday and I don't know what you saw and what you didn't. Um, there is an option for this pattern to put uh, um, darts in the back. Like there's a template to write, to put in uh, darts into the back of the shirt. Um, and I did not do that because I want it to be um, rather loose. So um, anyway... Uh, that is, I do, I am hopeful that I'm going to be able to get to that today, although I'm cleaning my sewing room today. Um, I have to clean my sewing room, and I also need to clean my bedroom. I've been putting flannel sheets on everyone's bed. I did the kids yesterday, doing mine, my, and my, my husband and my bed today. My husband and my bed. Yeah, I think I said that right. <laughs> the bed I share with my husband. <laughs> I'm putting flannel sheets on it today. Um, which means washing the other sheets to put them back in storage. Um, anyway, and I'm going to clean my bedroom and bathroom. I've been going through my zones this week, cleaning the house. 
um, but my sewing room is just disgusting. So I have been putting away patterns. I only had a few more because I put away patterns the other day. You saw me do that, but I had a few more that were out by my cutting table that I'd missed. They were buried under piles of fabric. I tell you, when it goes downhill, it goes downhill hard um, around the sewing room. Uh, but anyway, I put away all the fabric that I'm not um, planning on using like right now. I do have some piles of fabric, but it's either fabric that I, it's fabric that is going to need to be um, sewn up this month. So I've left all of that out just so it's visible and I get to it when it's time. Um, with the ex exception, sorry, my hand is just, which is the exception of my fabric for my sister's coat, which will be the sew along. I haven't pulled that out. Actually, that'll make a lot of room because that's a lot, taking up a lot of room because it's a, a thick wool. Anyway, I'm cleaning and then I've been playing teacher all morning. It's been intense. It's a white day today, which is our harder day. And things have been very intense around here. So, um, pray for me. <laughs> anyway, um, we have a little bit more homework still to do. And then I'm going to try and finish doing some cleaning. But I will, um, I'm really hopeful. I'm also in charge of some carpooling today. So, I've got to make sure I don't forget. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? Um, anyway, I need to do that. Um, but I am very hopeful that I will get back in here, um, this evening to work on the recital shirt. I would love to finish it today. If not, at least get it to the point where it just needs buttonholes and buttons. So, um, but to finish it would be great. I would love to be able to do that. I mean, all I have to do is I have to insert the sleeves, sew up the side seam and the, the sleeve seam because I put them in flat and then sew up in one continuous seam. And then I need to figure out the hem. Yeah, I should be able to finish that today because I'm going to use bias binding. But I need to figure out how I want to do that. So anyway, that's what I've got on my on the docket for today. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hi. And um, I will be back after a bit. <laughs> Guys, tonight's wine is Three Brothers Pinot Noir. I love a good Pinot. Okay, I had a piece of gum in my mouth before I took this sip. Because I don't think this should be, it's, so it's just coming across kind of sweet. But I don't think that makes sense. Let me, let me hold on. Me <laughs> Pinot should not be sweet. Mm. It was the gum. That's, I mean, that's good. It's not my favorite of all of them, but it's good. I like that one. It is not sweet. <laughs> that was the gum. Um, yeah, I really haven't had a bad one. Even someone had said that the white that I pulled um, maybe the other day, well, yesterday, whenever that, that most recent white looked a little yellow, which usually means sweeter, but it wasn't. I have not had a sweet wine at all, which is good. I like dry wine, um, both in my white and my red. So this one is also good. 
I paid a beef stew tonight for dinner and it calls for um, beer in it, but um, <clears throat> I put a, like a whole bottle of one of my wines. It was one of the ones I just had taken a little sip out of and put the whole bottle in. It was so good. The beef stew was so really enjoying that. I also made spaghetti the other night with some red wine in it. Um, so yeah, we're uh, slowly using it all up um, so that nothing goes bad. Um, we need to have some friends over though, I think, to <laughs> finish off some of this. Okay, so that's it for the wine. Um, I have not filmed hardly at all today because um, I've just been really busy cleaning and being a teacher. Um, my sewing room had to get cleaned and um, I will tell you more about why soon. Not to be a tease, but um, I will tell you soon, as soon as I can. <laughs> um, it's kind of, it's, I mean, nothing big, but it's just kind of fun and it's kind of an exciting thing. Um, anyway, so that um, happened. So I did not get to sew on my recital shirt today. Um, I could go back down there, but I honestly, I need to do some planning for, because um, I need to film tomorrow for videos and I need to do some planning tonight. So that's going to be on my to-do list. I may actually, I may just go ahead and have a glass of wine. Um, and maybe not this one, maybe one of my older ones, because I really like that Malbec. I may have a glass of that Malbec. Um, anyway, I did, I was watching Sean from Kentish Behavior yesterday, and she also had a day where she just hardly did any filming. So she was showing some um, fabrics and uh, their linings and stuff and her plans for coats with them. And actually, while I was cleaning today, I have kind of a pile down there of some Sew the Look stuff. So I thought that maybe we could go down there and kind of go through and I'll show you, because I don't do plans videos for the Show the Looks, other than when I'm pairing patterns with um, looks, uh, like those type of videos. So I thought I would just go down there and kind of show you from those that I have um, recently done, the winter looks, um, what fabrics I do have in my possession right now that I'm kind of thinking about that are still sitting out that I have not put away um, because they're gonna become garments here real soon. So um, yeah, let's go down to the cutting table and we can do that before we call it a day. Okay, you're on my like cheap, kind of crappy tripod only because it's very it's lightweight and really easy to like it's like a small one it's not like my big one um and i've just got my phone on there hopefully all of my footage comes off my phone um but i just have a couple of things to show you so um and then i want your opinion on this one okay so um <laughs> i actually grabbed the zinfandel for tonight that one's still pretty good all right so the first look was the one, um, uh, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Um, it was this look and I'll pop a picture of it right here where she is in the forest green skirt and then kind of a, um, a real pretty um, t-shirt that she's got on there or sweater. Um, and I just loved the monochrome. I was very, very <laughs> uh, much into the monochromatic look um, with this last winter, you know, so the look or street style looks or whatever I named it, <laughs> street style looks that I want to recreate. Um, so anyway, I have this gorgeous wool from Minerva. I don't know if I'd show you this. Oh, that color comes over. It's like a bottle green. It's just gorgeous. It's suiting weight. And so I'm going to use this. And actually, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to make the sew the look. I still need to find, um, and I find some merino wool. And I think, because um, I really want merino wool, I think. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I mean, the fabric store has so many beautiful colors of merino and they usually do an end of the year sale and for right now they're doing double points so they have rewards points and they're doing double points right now uh for the month of whole month of december so i'm really hopeful that right after christmas um maybe they'll run like a 20 percent off sale or something and i'm gonna grab some wool uh or so yeah some merino wool and even if they don't i'll probably i'll probably grab some and do a little bit of shopping with some christmas money before the um, end of the month but um I'm going to use this, and again, it's a suiting weight, so it's pretty thin, but I'm going to do the Stanwick skirt by um, Charm Patterns by Gertie, um, and I want to do the pencil version that has kind of the cool pockets on the front um, that kind of stand out, and actually, on the cover of the princess coat, or it's one of the outfits, I think, on the princess coat, she has that Stanwick shirt or skirt paired with the cropped jacket. 
Now, I don't know that I would get a lot of wear of like the real cropped princess coat, um, but I think the princess coat with the peplum, like the short peplum, I think I would get some wear out of that. I think that would be really cute over um, jeans even. Uh, so anyway, I, I've got three meters of this. So I think I, I can, I mean, I can, I can get a, a skirt and then also a princess jacket out of that. Um, it's a, the princess coat, but I'm making more of a jacket. And I'll probably interline the, um, it has some stretch to it too. It'll make a very comfy skirt, but I'll probably interline the um, jacket with maybe a little bit of lightweight flannel. I have an old duvet cover that I have cut up um, and used for inner linings for quite a while. I do that a lot. And like I have my daughter's old bed sheets, flannel bed sheets, like her frozen ones that she had from when she was a kid that she no longer wants. I've got those um, stuffed away in a drawer and that will become interlinings for all sorts of things, flannel interlinings for all sorts of things because you can't see it. I mean, I wouldn't put it because it's printed under like white wool, but <laughs> for this kind of stuff, why not? Um, anyway, that is my plan. And it's just, oh, sorry, Gidget, just kicked the dog. And this is, um, oh, this isn't really, yeah, I have three meters of it, but it's just a beautiful bottle green um, suiting, wool suiting, and it does have a little bit of stretch. I wonder if I'll have enough to get maybe a little something else out of it too. So obviously the princess coat doesn't go with my um, sew the look, like that won't be part of the sew the look, but I do want to just go ahead and make it as a little suit. I think that will be a lot of fun to wear at some point. I don't know when, maybe one time when we can leave the house or maybe I'll just walk around my neighborhood in it because you know. <laughs> so that's one. Get it. Um, and then my other look, or I guess I have two looks here. So I have this look that's right here that is, um, that are the, I don't know if they're leather or pleather. They're probably leather because this is a net -a porter or net -a -porte, um, website. But I have this gorgeous pleather from Joann's, um, and I think I have enough to do the pants. I'll need to do something else, obviously, for the shirt. I don't know if I want to do pink or not. But I do, I mean, I'll do some sort of button-up down shirt. This has some nice stretch in it. It's just this gorgeous color. Um, but I really want to get these made up to do that for a sew the look. And I think I'm going to use the Liana Stretch Jeans by Itch to Stitch. Um, so we'll see. I think that, and I may modify them a little bit. I may modify the pocket so it's not so much of a jean pocket. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I think I am definitely going to use the Liana's. And I'm going to do the um, flared leg on those and take those to the floor. I've had so many people commenting on how long my legs look in those flared orange pants, which, yes, you know, for those of us that are vertically challenged, that is like the highest compliment. I don't know that there's a bigger compliment out there. So that's what I think I'm going to do with this pleather. The pleather, I've decided, is definitely going to become a pair of pants. There goes the boy. And then for this look that's all in red, this is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go a little um, AWOL and I'm gonna put a little bit of print. So I have this gorgeous, it's actually a rayon. I got it from Style Maker Fabrics. Um, and I think I'm either gonna do a skirt or I'm gonna do like um, a wide leg culotte type pants because it's, I think this was said as shirting, but it's fairly, it's like a woven jacquard almost. Like it's, it's a pretty, I mean, it's not super heavy duty, but it's not as lightweight as like a chalet or anything like that. Like you can make a, a lightweight jacket out of this. So, um, but it still has drape because it's rayon. But I just think that's gorgeous. And then I also bought this sweater knit that goes really well together. It even goes better in person. This is coming across as a little more pink um, on the camera, but it's not. Um, and I've got this beautiful sweater knit, also from Style Maker Fabrics. And I'm going to do one of the Sew House 7 toaster sweater um, one of those versions out of this that's kind of that, not cropped, oh, kind of cropped, kind of the cropped one. But that's just this beautiful sweater knit. And then for the coat, as we all know, we've been talking about this at Vlogmas, it's gonna be this wool, also from Minerva, um, and I'm gonna do the Romana with this one. So I am gonna make the bamboo coat, but I'm gonna use a different fabric that I'm waiting on from Minerva because it's a different sew the look that I'm gonna do. Actually, two, I'm gonna make the, um, uh, 
that bright plaid. I got a really cool, what I think is going to be a really cool dupe for that bright plaid coat. I'm going to make the original bamboo with that. And then I bought some bright orange that I'm going to do um, the bamboo with the add-on stand-up collar for that one. But it's not here yet. Um, I think the Royal Mail in the UK is, is moving a little bit slow right now because they're, I think they just came out of another lockdown, um, if that's right. Anyway, look at all this together. Isn't this going to make a fun monochromatic look? Mm. But anyway, this is going to be the Romana. I made that decision and I'm feeling good about it. So those are kind of my plans. Um, now, once I finish my recital shirt, I probably should start working on the sew along. And um, I'll have that fabric pulled a week from Sunday. You'll get to see that. I'm going to wait and show you guys that on that first um, video for that sew along. But I do need to get started sewing that because that has to be done by Christmas because I need to get it to my sister and get twirls. Um, so I need at least it all filmed before Christmas. It doesn't need to be edited, just the ones that are going up, obviously. But I do need it all to be filmed before Christmas and the coat to be done so that I can get twirls of my sister in it after Christmas when we see them. So that is that. And then my final... is also Minerva and look at this it is a gourd it's a silk crepe de chine and I can't remember if I've shown you guys this or not look at the print it looks like sequins but it's not oh isn't that gorgeous it is a silk crepe de chine I think I have two meters of it because I was thinking I want to do a blouse out of it but I don't know what blouse to do isn't that amazing? It's that digital print and it just looks like all these, the glitters and the sequins and the jewels and the beautifulness. And it's um, all shades of brown. So it's like sepia and dark brown. So there's no, um, I mean, maybe a little, I don't even think there's any black in it. I think it's all chocolate brown. Like the darkest colors on here are like a chocolate brown. Isn't it gorgeous? So what do you guys think? I need your opinion on what I should make with this. Again, I've got two meters of it, so that should be plenty for pretty much any top or blouse that I would make. I just think it's beautiful. And I, you know, I love a good, love a good blouse. So yeah, let me, let me know. I need help. This is the only thing um, with my stash that I have from uh, the Minerva Makers that I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Everything else has plans and, um, you know, they're all getting underway and stuff like that, but I just don't know what to do with this one. I want, I know what I want it to be, I just don't know what, which pattern I wanna choose. And I've gone back and forth through my stash, I just don't know. So let me know, let me know. or even, it doesn't have to be an actual pattern, if um, even just a style, you know, like the type of blouse you think I should make, and then I can maybe go from there. But if you do have pattern names, that's even better. So anyway, I need your opinion on that. So there we have it. And then I also have a big <laughs> pile of fabric there, but that's going to be, you'll be hearing about that, I think, on Friday. So stay tuned um, for that video, um, which is be tomorrow. So anyway, um, that is all I think I've got for today. I don't know how long today's video is, but it's getting to be late enough now, and I do have some research I need to be doing for filming tomorrow. So I'm going to let you guys go so that I can get that done. Um, and I also need to finish putting clean sheets on my bed. <laughs> I just heard my dryer go off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's all I've got for tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow.